Liberia have admitted that they were beaten by a better Ghanaian side in Tamale. A goal was scored in each half of the game, with the Meteors commended for their skill and coordination on the pitch. Meteors coach Malik Jaber said the goal tally could have been greater if they knew their opponent better. According to him, preparation for the game was low and very little was known about the Lone Stars. If you're going in to play somebody you never see, what are you going to say? Now we have seen them. We will now know how to train towards their play and, and so forth. You know, it's, it's, it's a very serious issue. I hope uh, they will help us in that area. Before you play anybody, you must have a clue as to how his strong side, his weak side, his, his nature and all those things. But we go in raw all the time. The coach of the Lone Stars, Thomas Kojo, attributed the performance of his team to their late arrival to the country and fatigue. He was, however, confident that one week ahead is enough time to prepare adequately to welcome the Meteors at the Accra Stadium. Well, I mean, we got to go back to the table, the drawing board, to work hard and make sure that on Saturday, I mean, it's a work, it's not an easy thing. Ghana have a good side, tactically, they are very good. And uh, we're just going to make sure that uh, whatever we did wrong, we, we work on it and we'll come back on Saturday and make sure we can get a good result. If the Black Stars win again on Saturday, they will meet Congo Brazzaville and then move to face Nigeria. The return fixture between Ghana and their Liberian counterparts will be played at the Accra Sports Stadium following a ban on sporting activities in Liberia.